What is going on everybody? How are you guys doing today? It's January 8th, 2023. This is the calm before the storm video. These videos are just to basically see what town looks like before the storm and then when we do the aftermath video, it's just to get kind of a um, the after the fact <laughs> perspective. So I thought since we haven't been up to Upper Moon Ridge much lately, we're gonna go up there right now and do a quick drive through, see how much snow they have up there. Um, expecting maybe, I don't know, maybe an inch of snow out of this. I have no idea. I don't think we're going to get much more than an inch. I mean, yesterday it showed we could get up to like six inches total. And now it's showing one inch. And obviously we're probably going to start off a little bit at, well, with a little bit of rain, but that's okay. zoo we need to do a video here we need to go to the zoo <laughs> that's what these people are doing they're going to the zoo and we are going to go up into upper moon ridge so let's make sure we're not having any cars coming this way cool we're good How's everyone doing today? Hope you guys are doing great. I'm still feeling lethargic as all heck from being sick. I have no energy. It's quite unfortunate. But on the weather side, we do have some good news coming. I'll look to see exactly when it is again. We have potential for decent snow coming this next Friday. Let's see, let me get that information real quickly. And they cut back big time what they thought that was going to be. Even last night, it was showing like, I think, on Saturday morning, like eight to 12 inches, just on Saturday morning and Friday night, three to five inches. So now it's showing three to five inches where it said eight to 12 inches. Guys, it's just so frustrating. It really is. We're not getting much snow. But there's like four or five straight days of precipitation coming again, starting Friday. So we shall see. We shall see. I'm gonna start the time lapse for this storm probably late tonight, so it's gonna start off as at nighttime for this next little storm. And right now we're on a street called Butte, and we're gonna turn left on Mira, M-I-R-A, and then a right on. Uh, why am I spacing the name? On Villa Grove. Here's Villa Grove, and we're going to take Villa Grove all the way around. It's basically a tour of Upper Moon Ridge. There's a good amount more, a lot more snow up here. Upper Moon Ridge would be a really pretty place to live. It's just when we do get good storms, getting up and down is is is, is kind of scary. It's 
So as I said, we're gonna stay on, on Villa Grove. There's kind of a, a, a big cutoff area here on Wolf Street. Here you turn right and you can cut off half of Villa Grove. You go that way and then you can you have access to all those streets over there. <laughs> pretty, pretty. And I like it up here as well because there aren't as many trees. When I lived in Denver, Colorado, going to boarding school for two years when I was 14 and 15, I really liked living in a house that didn't really have many trees around it. Because living in the city and having it snow, I like even better than the alpine atmosphere. I used to love this alpine atmosphere, but you can't see anything. You can't see for any distance up here. So that's, that's one thing I miss about Denver and all the street lights in Denver, when it would snow you guys at night, the sky was like pink. It was so pretty because all the lights would reflect off the clouds and the snow. It was so pretty. It was so bright outside. <coughs> you wouldn't need headlights to drive. That's how bright it would be. Of course, the law makes you turn on your headlights at night. But I'm just saying that if you uh, didn't have headlights, you would be fine. I've lost it on this turn once. Went sliding all the way across the edge because I was going a little bit too fast. I never forget that. And it always seems like once we make that like 180 degree turn right there there's more snow on this side of this little hill to the right always Let me look at it we're coming up to an old friend's house unfortunately they're not friends anymore but he has a a big brother who's who was a professional baseball player or still might might be named Lucas Duda. And this guy's last name is Duda and he looks just like him. Like they're spitting images of each other. I kind of miss this guy. But we had a falling out, unfortunately. And not that, you know, you're entitled to something because a sibling or a family member makes a makes millions and millions of dollars that you should be getting something from that. I don't believe in in nepotism at all. Um, I don't. I believe you work hard for your for what you get. Um, but apparently, Lucas never ever helped him out, and they just weren't the best of friends. I'll tell you what though, if I had millions of dollars, I would be helping all my friends out without question. Mostly the ones who want to work though. You know, you don't want to enable people. That that never does any good for anybody. Enabling is not a good thing. A handout is not good. A hand up is great. So here's a dead end right here. Now we're on La Crescenta. Look at how much snow they got up here. This is gorgeous. <coughs> this feels like a snowy town. When you go down to Moon Ridge, there's like nothing down there. And we're not even that much higher in elevation. I think maybe 400 feet or something. But because of where we're located, elevation wise, 400, to a thousand feet makes a humongous difference. That's crazy. That was my friend's brother right there. Or that was my, my old friend right there that just turned right in front of us. What a trip. I haven't seen him in a long time. <coughs> I didn't think they were up here anymore. 
yeah, it's unfortunate when you have a falling out with people, you know. But that's life. Can't win them all. Jeez, look at all this snow over here. Amazing. As I said, some of these uh, roads get, get to be nasty, nasty, nasty. So we're gonna turn left here on Wolf and go down the other side of Moon Ridge to get back down to the bottom. So we're gonna go down and get dropped off, I think, if I'm doing this correctly, over by Bear Mountain. It really is cool knowing these streets up here or just anywhere in this town because there are a lot of little shortcuts and easier ways to get to certain places. Oh, look at those views straight ahead. Amazing. So pretty. Butler Peak straight ahead. I think if a bunch of you come up this next weekend, it, it should should be pretty good. Once again, if, if everything pans out, even at the lackluster amount of snow they're predicting now, it'll still be a lot more snow than we have at this moment. So I think you guys would have fun. Once again, we need you guys to come up here and have a great time, spend money. This is a lot steeper than it looks, you guys. So imagine when there's, and now it gets really steep. When there's ice and snow, it's it's, it's white knuckle driving for sure. I think I think we're on sheep horn. And this will take us to Moon Ridge Road. We'll take a drive by Bear Mountain since we're already over here. <laughs> it 
So we're in like middle Moon Ridge now, and you can see there's significantly less snow here. And then even compared to where I live, there's like nothing. There's nothing where I live. Okay, here's Moon Ridge. We're gonna turn left. And we're just a couple blocks from Bear Mountain. to be able to golf this time of year a lot of people do drive down the mountain to go play often this time of year and I'm telling you I could really use some golfing in my life oh that guy got nailed with a snowball that was a good one his friend taxed him all right here we go All right, guys, we're coming up to Bay right here. Look at all these piles of snow. Just nasty. Yeah. Beautiful. It doesn't look too crowded on the slopes, so that's good. People are having a great time. I love to see that. Past these people because they are Let's see. look at that place. What a beautiful place to go skiing. It's not that big, but it is pretty. And as I said, they've been considering. Um, connecting Bear and Snow Summit in between up here. And that would be amazing. That would be amazing. We would have a world-class ski resort up here. And since we're really good at making snow, everything would be all good. Because they do such a good job up here making snow. So we're gonna avoid all the roundabouts and stuff like that, you guys. The first left you can make is called Willow, and you wanna turn left on Willow. Take that till it dead ends on Elm Street and follow that around on Elm, and it'll drop you off at the very start of the first roundabout. So here we go, turning left on Willow. Lower Moon Ridge. And also, this is definitely the last day of the, of the holiday tourist season. And for those of you who want to come up here and 
in a lot more peace. I would come up here in the middle of the weeks when you can. And it's way better, especially when we get snow during the week, because then when you come up here during the week, if you're able to take time off of work or school, there's, there's not that many people up here. So you'll, you know, have the mountain to yourself, essentially. Today, traffic hasn't seemed too bad at all. This is good. Okay, we're on Elm Street now, by the way. But yeah, I don't want you guys to, to come up here and get super frustrated and waste your time. I want you guys to come up here and have fun. Because this is a playground for everybody. <laughs> So you can cut all of this off too. We could have turned back there at Switzerland and gone on the very back streets to cut all this off. But we're coming up to this first roundabout. in the car. Put a little gas in the car. Look at all these dry spots. The lower we get down here, the less snow we'll run into. been one of my favorite houses up here it's an Airbnb I believe just like most of them from the front that place looks absolutely massive but when you look at it from the side it is so thin and narrow but one day guys we'll be able to stay there someday I'll have the money to be able to do that and of course I'll record for you guys what I think would be super cool is if someday, you know, some of these owners who own the like bigger houses would be willing to like, uh, not hook me up, but like make time for me and just charge me a normal rate instead of like the winter time rate so I can record for them and it might help them out a little bit. I think that'd be pretty, pretty cool. We do have a couple of, of you who got Airbnbs, which is just awesome. Congratulations for your hard work to get to that point because I know Airbnb makes a lot of money up here. And uh, if you sacrifice and work your butts off, you deserve that. Okay, so Snow Summit is over here. I just don't want to get hit by any cars. We're on Summit Boulevard right now. But anyway, I think we're gonna be done with this video. This is just a calm before the storm video see what town looks like before I go out and start recording tomorrow. Love you guys a lot. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Happy New Year to everybody and thank you for being a part of my life and part of this beautiful community. This channel has a bunch of amazing people and it's you guys. Thank you so much. I will talk to you guys later. January 8th, 2023. Big Bear, California.